welcome back to my channel. I'm James. Today we're going to be doing another one of my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison reviews. So I'm excited to announce we're going to deep dive into Dawn of the Dead on 4K Ultra HD, HP Lovecraft's From Beyond on 4K Ultra HD, and Freeway on 4K Ultra HD. Though I will point out that Freeway did not have a previous Blu-ray release, but this is the one that will round out the end of the video. The other two that I just previously mentioned will have 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons as we go along through this. So for all three 4Ks that we're gonna be covering in today's video, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on them, share all my testing data, and analysis on these and then at the end of each review I'll give you my review score that sums up the total quality of each one of these releases how they compare if there's a previous blu-ray release and let you know the total quality of if this is something you should buy and add to your collection or if it's something you should skip altogether so you'll always want to make sure to wait till the end of each one of these reviews to find out what the total sum up review score is as always what I do here on my YouTube channel now if after you get done watching this review you do decide you want to buy any of these 4Ks after you hear my review scores. As always, I post all of those links directly from Amazon in the description section right below this video. It never costs you a penny extra when you click on those links and I've done all the work for you. When you click on those, it takes you straight out to Amazon and lets you order them at the same prices everywhere. So as always, if you decide you're wanting to buy any of these, make sure to use those links I've posted down in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Now to start off with here, we're gonna start off with Dawn of the Dead. Now we're gonna be comparing it to this original 2017 Blu-ray release from Scream and Shout Factory. This is the collector's edition Blu-ray release. Now, the images you see up above are always the native images pulled directly from the disc with the Blu-rays and the 4Ks that we're gonna get to here in a second. What that means is that's without all of the artificial things your TV can do to pump up colors or to change the saturation or the contrast, things like that. This is always the native images that you see up above that are pulled directly from the disc. And that's always what makes the biggest difference in what we see because the native images that are on these discs are what your TV is using to present that you're actually seeing when you view these movies. Now, I will start off with the 2017 Blu-ray release was an improvement over the previous Universal Blu-ray release that was before this one. So the reason I'm using this one for the comparison is this was a step up over the previous Universal Blu-ray release. So this is the one that we're all trying to determine is it worth buying the new 4K in comparison to if you already own the Shout and Scream Factory Blu-ray release. Now in comparison to Scream Factory and Shout Factory's new 4K Ultra HD release, there is some drastic differences that you'll notice right away when you first put the disc in. This is a native 4K 2160p, and the reason that makes a big difference is they went back and did a brand new 4K scan of the original camera negative with only the unrated scenes being upscaled from a 2K digital intermediate, so a 2K source upscaled to 4K, only in a few select scenes, which are the unrated scenes. And I will tell you, those scenes were integrated really well into this that you really can't notice the difference that much between them. That's how good of a job they did integrating it, keeping similar film grain and a similar scene going throughout it with the color grading and everything. I think Shout and Scream Factory did a phenomenal job with that that yes, I could slightly notice when we went to those unrated cuts because when I originally went to see Dawn of the Dead, my wife and I actually went to see this way back many years ago and I had to convince her to go see this because she was not a zombie or sci-fi or horror fan at all. And we kind of went into this with one of those things that I love zombie movies. I told her I loved them and I convinced her to go see this. And this is surprisingly one of those zombie horror movies that she actually really enjoyed. And to this day, she really enjoys the story of it, them holding up in the mall and trying to survive and just the element of the realism behind that, how it kind of felt like something you could imagine almost yourself doing. Well, this is one of those films that we've always enjoyed many, many times over the years. And we're excited when we found out this was coming out on 4K. Though what surprised me was that they went back to the original camera negatives to do this as a native 4K other than those select unrated scenes that are 2K upscales. 
So overall, that is what lends to why this looks so much better than the previous Blu-ray release. Overall, the film grain is much more stable throughout this. There is so much more life and details present in their faces, their skin, their textures on their clothing. Overall, the color grading on this looks so much better than it did on the previous Blu-ray release. And that directly goes into the Dolby Vision and the HDR10 that's present on this. Now, talking about the Dolby Vision versus the HDR10, the Dolby Vision is the winner on this. Now, I did like the HDR10, so if you only have HDR10 available, it's still good looking. But the Dolby Vision on this was anywhere between 5 to about 10% in certain scenes better looking, in my opinion than what the HDR10 have. But again, the HDR10 is still a huge upgrade. It's just the Dolby Vision was a huge winner on this release. Now, Dawn of the Dead originally came out in 2004, and it is directed by Zack Snyder and written by James Gunn, which are two huge names in the industry now. And this was one of those films that it's a remake of the George Romero classic that I've talked about many times before that I have on 4K already of Dawn of the Dead. Now, here's the odd thing. Personally, I actually enjoyed this Dawn of the Dead better than the original. Now, it's not that I don't like the original. I love the original. It's just that this one, there's so many things that I thought were kind of expensive expanded upon. I liked how there was more characters holed up in the mall, so it added to more drama and more stories in that. And that's why I think this one is personally my favorite version of Dawn of the Dead and added a lot of things to the zombie horror genre that I really did enjoy. Now talking about the audio mix on this, this does have an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. And that, in that sense, is very similar sounding to the previous Blu-ray release. Overall, it's a very good and clear audio mix. It has some great use of bass in it. It has some great scenes with some really great punch behind them, which really lended to why it has some great range overall, going from those highs to lows and just spreading the sound around. So it was a really good audio mix that's contained on this. And it was on the previous Blu-ray release. I didn't notice too much other than some of the experience explosions seem to rattle the room a whole lot more than they did on the previous Blu-ray, but that was the only thing that I could probably say audio-wise that was a big difference between the two, was just there seemed to be a little bit more punch behind this. As far as special feature-wise goes, both of these releases have the same special features on them. The new 4K contains all of the previous special features that are contained on the previous Blu-ray release from Shout and Scream Factory, so you're not missing anything, and it really is a massive amount of special features, commentaries, behind the scenes, deleted scenes, making of, I mean, I really can't go into how many special features are in this. This release on Blu-ray was really an epic release for all the special features. Because they're all contained in this, it really does make this the ultimate edition of Dawn of the Dead to own because everything's contained in this as well. Now, you do get English subtitles on this as well, so if you need those subtitles, they are available on this release as well for you. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of this exclusive content that I always release exclusively here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to go down, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now talking about the film grain, that is something where there is a big difference as well. Because they did a new 4K scan for this of the original camera negatives, they actually did a much better job with the film grain, the stabilities, getting the film grain structure under control much better than what they had on the previous Blu-ray release. This one, the previous Blu-ray release, has a lot of instabilities. The film grain structure is all over the place on it. You'll notice times where there's blocking, clumping. You'll notice sometimes it's kind of fluctuating, almost blinking some of the times. And I really enjoyed this release over the Universal. It was still a step up over that. But that one with the Universal was a really bad release. This one was a step up from that, but the 4K really takes it at a whole new level. The film grain structure is so much better under it. When I say it's more under control, what I mean by that is, is they didn't use DNR or anything like that to get rid of it. It's just simply that when they did the new scan, because the technology has advanced so much more since 2017 when this came out, they were able to go in and do a much better scan, which has more stability in the film grain without digital noise or digital fluctuations like what occurred in this one, where there was a lot more digital fluctuations of the film grain. Those are gone on this, and it is a much better and much more enjoyable viewing experience in that aspect alone, because the film grain has always been heavy in this, where you can see it throughout it. 
but the fluctuations that it had on that previous Blu-ray really made that previous Blu-ray a little bit of a more inconsistent and kind of rougher viewing experience than what you have on this. Overall, it is a very nice and enjoyable viewing experience. Even those 2K upscaled scenes, they keep that same stability on the film grain, so you really have a hard time noticing when it switches on those few scenes. They did a really good job with that. Now getting to some more of my exclusive testing here. This had a rough average bitrate with a very high and very strong 83 megabits per second throughout most of the entire film. They did a great job with that. I was really impressed with the bitrate as well because that also lends to why it has such a nice image that's very stable throughout it with that film grain. That's why you don't notice that fluctuations in the image because of how good of a job they did with this transfer. Now showing you what you get in this, you do get this really nice slip cover. It says collector's edition. Now these slip covers are only in the first pressing. So if you like collecting slip covers, keep in mind, you only get these slip covers in the first pressing, which means usually within a couple of months, they're completely sold out of slip covers. So if you're wanting to get this, don't wait too long after hearing my review score here to go down to that link, click through that through Amazon, buy your copy through that. But this slip cover I do like, it does say Dawn of the Dead on the side, I like how it has the artwork on the side, three disc set, talks about all the special features. Then when you get inside here, there is no reversible artwork on it, but you do get your Blu-ray disc, which is region A locked, I always exclusively test these, and they are BD50s. That's your two Blu-ray discs, one has your theatrical cut, the other one has your unrated cut, and it has your special features on it. Then you get your 4K Ultra HD disc, as always I exclusively test those. This is 100% region free, there's no region locking on it. So those of you worldwide that want to experience this in the best quality this has ever been released on, you'll be able to watch this 4K Ultra HD disc, no issues and no problems whatsoever because it's 100% region free. Now getting to my review score for Dawn of the Dead, I absolutely love the film itself. It's one of my favorite zombie films and I am a huge zombie nerd. Now I will point out though, that the film is rated R for strong violence, strong gore, strong language, and sexual content. So keep that in mind, it's up to you what you deem is okay to watch or what's not okay to watch, I just want to let you know the content that is in this. Now as far as the film goes, it is a fun zombie film. I like the kind of references to kind of like even what we went through with all of the virus and things that went on the last several years, just being under lockdown and things like that. I almost think it has more meaning and more feeling behind it now, kind of going under the lockdown and all the other stuff we went through. Kind of almost like, I just feel it has more of a connection now than it even did back when I saw it in theaters. Now I do like the film and enjoy it and I do think Zack Snyder did a great job with the film itself. I always had hoped that Zack Snyder would have done a sequel with the remaining characters and things like that, not giving things away, but with those remaining characters, I would have loved to see him do a sequel with this style and kind of made a trilogy of zombie films in his world. Um, though it just didn't seem to happen, but I would have loved to have seen it. Now getting to my review score for Dawn of the Dead on 4K Ultra HD from Scream and Shout Factory, this gets a phenomenal 9.6. This is a must buy. This is one you've got to add to your collection. You'll never watch that Blu-ray again. That is how amazing of a job Scream and Shout Factory did with this release. I was blown away, thought it was an outstanding job and really was surprised at how good of a job they did with this. The bit rate and everything else really lended to why this was such a phenomenal release. You must buy this and add this to your collection. If you decide you're gonna buy it now, make sure to go down to that link I've posted down below in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. But this is one of those, if you have not checked out this film, it is a very stylized action horror thriller that is a must watch zombie film. And it is one of those that is one of those top tier zombie films that really belongs in every horror fan's collection because there are some things in her that still, even watching it now, just like my wife when we saw it in theaters, man, it made her scream and jump. It still makes you jump no matter how many times you've seen it. And you know what I mean, some of those scenes that really just get you every single time. And it's a fun thrill ride. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. 
hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you're one of the first ones to get notified when I release any of this new or exclusive content that you're only gonna find here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to go down, give this video a like and a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Next up, we've got the 1986 sci-fi horror dark comedy, HP Lovecrafts from Beyond. Now this is one of those releases that I just gotta point this out right off the bat. It's rated R for strong violence, strong gore, strong language, and strong sexual content. So take that for what it is, that if it's depending on what you deem is okay to watch, as I said before, all of these reviews in this video, they're pretty much similar with strong violence, strong language, all of that is contained in them, but I did just wanna point that out so you are aware of that. Now, as far as HP Lovecraft's From Beyond goes, it was basically a very, very short story. I think it was seven pages long. They expanded into a movie, and it is one of those films that has some cool sci-fi elements. I like the purple overall like effect and things throughout it with the way that it was filmed, and there are some cool effects with the mutations and things like that. Though I will say it's not my favorite film of all time, but it is one of those that I was surprised got a new 4K restoration from Vinegar Syndrome and MGM. Now, this is a native 4K 2160p, and it was created from a new 4K scan and restoration of the original 35mm camera negative. Now, there is some scenes in this that basically are from damaged negatives, which I'll get to how that affects things later on, but this does include the uncut scenes added back into it, which is where you'll notice a variation in the quality of what you see. Now, this does have HDR10 on it as well, and big shout out to Vinegar Syndrome as always for sending this to me early for review. And just like with Freeway that was sent to me for review from Vinegar Syndrome, I always appreciate it when studios reach out to me and send me things for review. Though keep in mind as always, as most of you know, just because something was sent for review never affects my review score, my testing or analysis on any of these. I'll always be upfront and honest with all of you about what I see, what I experience and what I find out through my testing. Now the HDR10 on this does look good. It added to the inky blacks, the brilliant whites of this over the previous Blu-ray release from Shout and Scream Factory. Now, the Shout and Scream Factory Blu-ray release, as you've noticed above in those screenshots above, it was soft. The Shout and Scream Factory release always had a very soft image presentation compared to what you get on this 4K. That Blu-ray I thought looked decent before, but I was really surprised at how much of an increase in detail and depth and clarity in the image alone that there was with this new 4K restoration that really blew away that previous Blu-ray release. Another big drastic change was on that Blu-ray release, skin tones had a more grayish tone overall. They were very dull and kind of almost deadish looking skin tones on the previous Shout Factory Blu-ray release. On the new 4K, the skin tones are brought to life brilliantly. As you're noticing, the skin tones look great on this. Gone is that gray, like hazy appearance to the film and the gray skin tones, very lifelike, very vibrant. The colors overall on this are just stunningly vibrant. The HDR10 with the wider color gamut really blows away the previous Blu-ray release, which the Shout and Scream Factory Blu-ray release has been out of print for quite a while. But the fact of it is, is sitting down and watching them side by side, there's really no comparison. If you own the previous Blu-ray release, you're never gonna watch that again in comparison to the image presentation of what you get on this new 4K. It really is a revelation for this film. Now, on this 4K, there was some slight black crush in some slight few scenes. I seem to notice those appeared in the ones where it was things from the unrated cut where they were having issues with the damage on those unrated cut. There's an intro before you watch this film on this that talks about that those basically unrated scenes that were added back in do have damage on them and they were very hard to work with and there was a lot of damage present on them. And you can kind of see some of that. Now it's not so heavy. Now it's nice that Vinegar Syndrome went back and did a scan of what those elements are and did the best they could with them. And they did a great job with them. It's nice that they gave that back in to give us the uncut version. So that is a nice bonus for this release. So in that sense, I'm not gonna ding it for that because to be honest with you, they didn't exist in a lot of releases on you know VHS and DVD before that. You couldn't have even watched those. So it is nice that they went back and scanned those though 
to provide them in the best quality they could for this release. So that way we did get them and it wasn't that they were only gonna give us the theatrical cut and then just basically, hey, that's all you get. You got those included in this, so I'll take them for what they are, knowing that they are damaged and there's only so much they could do with them. Talking about the film grain on this, it does have fluctuations and some slight inconsistencies. There was some slight digital noise, though I did notice that digital noise appeared in the more damaged areas, but it's nothing heavy. I mean, overall, it was a nice job they did with this. It's just some of those elements, like I said, with the damage, there's only so many things they could do with it that I feel like that's where it had issues with those slight instabilities and the film grain inconsistencies. Comparing to the previous Blu-ray release, because it was a softer image overall, you couldn't see the film grain nearly as much because it was a softer presentation, whereas this, there's so much more detail on it that you can see that film grain so much more present on it. So you do notice those inconsistencies slightly more on this simply because it is so much more detailed of an image presentation than what you ever had on the Scream 2013 Blu-ray release. Talking about the audio, you do get an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and a 2.0 mix on this. And you also get English subtitles. Now, talking about the audio here, that was where I did notice a nice healthy improvement. Compared to the 2013 Scream and Shout Factory release on Blu-ray, this audio sounded much better with the range. I thought the clarity was much more noticeably improved on it. I could hear a lot more of like the background sound effects and a lot more of like shoes and different clicking and things like that when the mutations are going on. You could hear like the goo, like just so much more elements of the audio. I could hear so much better in that 5.1 mix on this than I could on the previous Blu-ray. So I did notice that was a nice appreciable improvement on this release from Vinegar Syndrome as well. Now, getting to some more of my exclusive testing, for the rough average bitrate on this, this had an amazingly high, healthy, and strong rough average bitrate of 90 megabits per second. Wow. It was really surprising. It was just a great rough average bitrate for this release. Now showing you what you get in this, you do get reversible cover artwork. This is the other cover artwork, kind of the original cover artwork, Humans Are Easy Prey. Talks about it on the side. Same back where it talks about all the special features on it. This is where this one is really surprising. It has a massive amount of special features on it. Though I will say there was a few variances between them. Some of them seem to be Shop Factory had some special ones they had. Whereas this one seems to have other ones that are exclusive to this. So in that case, if you want all the special features, from what I can see between both of the releases, if you want every single one, you want to have both of them. Though to be honest with you, every single thing it had contained in this is all that I needed. There was so many things they did for this release special feature wise and so many new ones that I really felt like this had much better special feature range on it than what the previous release had on it as well. Now, when you get inside here, you do get your Blu-ray disc and it does say disc one on it. Then you get your other Blu-ray disc on this. It says disc two. Your Blu-ray discs are both region A locked. So you will need a multi-region or region free player to view these discs. Now I've reviewed dozens of those over the years. Now I always post some of my favorite region free players in the description section right below every single video. So if you wanna know about some of those, I've reviewed some of them, but I always post those links right below as well. But both your discs on Blu-ray are region A locked. Your 4K is 100% region free, so you'll be able to play that anywhere worldwide. And I will say the 4K is obviously where it's at. With that HDR10 with the purple color scheme as you're noticing those images that I've been talking about above, it really is a surprising upgrade on this new 4K with the restoration they did over that previous Blu-ray. Getting to my review score for From Beyond. Now, Vinegar Syndrome, I think, did a really good job with this. This is not something that they could do anything better with because of understanding the damage that happened to some of those scenes. So those inconsistencies is understanding that there's only so much that can be done with it. But in comparison to all the hundreds of other 4Ks I've tested and reviewed over the years, for your total sum up of the quality of this release, you're looking at a 9.3. That's your review score for this. It is one that's a good release. They did a good job with this. This is one of those that's an impressive image quality, sound quality, and a worthwhile upgrade. Now, before we get to the next review, make sure when you're done watching this video to start the conversation in the comment section below. 
Let me know if you've seen this film. Let me know if you've seen Dawn of the Dead. Let me know if you've seen Freeway. Let me know if you're excited for any of these 4K releases now that I've reviewed them. Let me know if you're excited to buy them. Start that conversation down there below. I always love to hear from all of you. I'm always curious, you know, are some of you big fans of kind of more out of the wall, sci-fi, kind of these like, I don't know, creature features is what I would call it. And it really is one of those mutating like body mutilation sci-fi horror movies and i will say it's extremely over the top lots of gore as i referenced before lots of violence and lots of overt darkly sexual content throughout it so just keep that in mind but make sure to start that conversation in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on this film or any of the other ones that i'm doing in this compilation review video next up we've got the 1996 horror thriller freeway now this has Reese Witherspoon in it and Kiefer Sutherland and it is one of those films that's basically a dark like almost dark comedic take on Little Red Riding Hood's story. Basically she's trying to get to grandma's house and runs into a psychotic serial killer, the highway killer. Uh, basically he's this psychotic over the top crazed person but to be honest with you, so is she kind of psychotic as well in areas, and it is one of those films with a twist, though I will tell you, as I did with the other reviews here, it is rated R for strong violence, strong language, strong gore, strong sexual content, so it is one of those films, keep in mind, depending on what you're okay with watching or what you're not, um, that is what is contained in this film. I always want to let you know about anything that's in any of these, so that way you are aware of them. But the film is very over the top. You'll notice things like the violence in it. Some of the people couldn't probably survive some of the things that happened to them in this film that kept happening over and over again and things like that. I mean, a lot of it's very, very like just in your face and intense. Um, overall, I will say the film has some elements I did enjoy about it, but it's not really my cup of tea. It's not my favorite film. It's not something that I absolutely loved. But I will say it had some enjoyable, entertaining elements that you sit back and kind of go on a ride that, that really is an eye-opening experience and something I'm surprised it got a 4K release because it never even got a Blu-ray release. And that's why the images you see up above are solely of this release. There is no Blu-ray release to compare it to. The previous time this was ever released was back on DVD. And this concludes the uncut version, which includes all of the footage put back in that they did with this new scan. Now, this is a native 4K 2160p, and it was created from a new 4K scan and restoration from the original 35 millimeter camera negative. And this release does have HDR10 on it. Now, when I was talking about the uncut, now what they did is, is they did a similar thing to HP Lovecraft's From Beyond that I just talked about, where they went back to the original elements and basically took the uncut footage and put it back in. Though I will say it was a little bit more seamless in the elements of the film grain. Inconsistencies aren't as noticeable in this, though there was things that I did notice on this release. There was some more digital noise that was present throughout this than what was present on the HP Lovecraft's From Beyond. Now, the way I look at it is when I'm watching it and I see that digital noise where it appears, it seemed to appear in some of those heavier scenes where there was more film grain present on it, that digital noise kind of cropped up more throughout it. Would I say it ruined it? No, it still was an enjoyable picture. The HDR10 looked phenomenal on it. I thought overall it was really an amazing watching experience, but it does have some of that digital noise issues in it that you do notice some slight blocking and digital noise. And that does affect my review score later on because those are things when I see them and I'm noticing them. Um, I just kind of wish it didn't have that, but Again, it's not the worst thing ever. It's not the worst release I've ever seen. It's just something I'm gonna point out while I'm going through all of my testing. Audio wise, this does have English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 on it, and it does have English subtitles. The audio was easy to hear and clear, though it doesn't have a ton of range and there wasn't a great use of surround mixes on it, things like that. Obviously it's a 2.0 mix, so you're limited on that side. So again, that kind of goes to the audio mix side of it as well. It wasn't something that's gonna blow you away or be an absolutely amazing restoration Dolby Atmos or even a 5.1. 
So take that for what it is. It's just more limited in that site as well. So that goes into it as well. It's just a limited audio mix. Though Vinegar Syndrome did the best they could with that 2.0. And I really just think unless you did a whole brand new like Dolby Atmos or 5.1 and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to do a brand new audio mix, um, I think this is the best we're ever going to see us. I mean, this really is one of those niche kind of cult classic films that never made it on Blu-ray, so I'm amazed we got it on 4K in the first place. Now, showing you what you get in this, you do get reversible cover artwork on this as well, which I did like that. It has the kind of original like DVD cover artwork on it. And on the side, it says Freeway on it. Then on the back, it talks about it, talking about this is the first time it contains the uncut feature presentation of Freeway presented with HDR10. Show some pictures from it. Now, getting inside here, you do get two discs in here. You do get your Blu-ray, which is sadly region A locked. So those of you worldwide, the Blu-ray is region A locked. 4K is 100% region free, as I always exclusively test. You won't have any issues playing this whatsoever anywhere worldwide. I did like how they used two different artworks for the disc. I thought that was a nice touch. And I do like getting the reversible cover artwork sleeve on it. I really like how Vinegar Syndrome does that. They throw in some extra things to show that they really lovingly care for these films. Even though these are kind of more obscure titles, they still show the love and care even for a more obscure title. Now, getting to my rough average bitrate. This has a rough average bitrate of 73 megabits per second. It was decent, it was a good bitrate throughout it, but it does kind of lend to some of those issues of what I was talking about, where it has digital noise or instabilities in the film grain, the fluctuations, things like that. It kind of all sums together and kind of makes sense when you add it all up. That's kind of where it falls as far as the issues with the image. But again, I'm amazed this got a 4K release, so it still is impressive that this got released on 4K. And this is the best that this will ever look. There is no way I ever see anybody ever touching this film again. So if you wanna check out this film or you wanna see this film, this is the best presentation you're ever gonna see this in. And all the damaged elements and things that they had to work with, it's amazing it even got to this good looking. Now, to give you my review score for this release, Freeway on 4K Ultra HD from Vinegar Syndrome and MGM gets a 9.0. It's a good review score. The film just isn't my cup of tea. I don't love the film. It's not something that I personally would go out and say, man, it's my favorite film ever. It's more of a bizarre film to me. I mean, it has so many different elements going for it. First of all, you're kind of thinking it's about, oh, we should care about her and we should care about her story. Then all of a sudden we should care about him. Then nope, we shouldn't care about him. And then, oh, it's a murder mystery. Oh, now it's a slasher film. Oh, now there's a twist. Now it's got overtly sexual tones in it. Nope, now it's just sexual tones. Oh, now there's sex. I mean, it's just, it's all over the place. It really is one of those films that, honestly, it's got a cult status behind it. I understand that behind it. But for me, it just kind of had so many different elements going for it that I don't know, I couldn't get a feeling for it. Now, for you, you might love this film and that's great. I, I'm not gonna tell you one way or the other that you should or shouldn't love it. That's up to you as the viewer. I give you the review score on the quality of the release, how it stacks up to hundreds and hundreds of other 4Ks I exclusively tested and reviewed here. So that way you know how the quality of this is. It's a 9.0, it's a good release. It's just not gonna be reference quality up there with some of those reference quality releases that I've talked about before. And that's where I wanted you to understand where this fell. So if you do decide you wanna pick this up and add this to your collection, you love the film, or you wanna check it out and you like horror, thriller, slasher, dark comedies, and what I really mean horror, it really does have horror elements with slasher with dark comedy in it. If you're looking for something like that, this is something you're gonna to wanna to check out. I put the link for this directly from Amazon in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. If you decide you're gonna pick up any of these that I reviewed in this video today, make sure to go down to the description section or the pinned comment in the comment section below. Click on that down there, it takes you straight out to Amazon to buy your copy. And this is one of those things that I appreciate Vinegar Syndrome sending these as always for review. But it doesn't mean that every single review that I get and every single thing that I get, I absolutely love every movie. And that's why I'm always upfront and honest with all of you about my testing, what I find out about these releases, and if I like the films. And this just was one that it was too far out there for me and just wasn't my favorite film. But the quality of it, considering that it never even got released on Blu-ray, it's an impressive 4K. And it's a very impressive release. I've been very impressed with a lot of Vinegar Syndrome's releases 
They're doing a lot of good things and I love to see more and more of what they have coming out. Now, if you wanna check out some of my other reviews from Vinegar Syndrome, I've done dozens of them over the years. You can check out those. I've done a lot of Vinegar Syndrome releases like the Amityville Horror that you see up here. I loved that release. That was a great release from Vinegar Syndrome. It got top marks. So if you haven't checked out that review yet, you're gonna wanna go check out that review as well. There's tons of exclusive content for you to check out here on my channel. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. If you enjoy all the time and the hard work that I put into every single one of these image comparison reviews, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club. That is the best way possible to support the creation of these videos here on this YouTube channel, and it's very important to the creation. I'm not sponsored or paid by anybody, and that's why I always give my honest opinion here, because I'm supported by all of you, my viewers and subscribers, through my Collector's VIP Club. And the only way I can always continue to do this is through my Collector's VIP Club and my Collector's VIP Club members like you. When you join that, it costs you less than a couple of bucks each month, but it drastically makes a difference in the creation of all these videos and all this content exclusively here on my channel. So make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club or give a super thanks to the super thanks button down below. As always, make sure to start that conversation in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on all three of these films. What are your thoughts on them? Are you excited about them? What ones do you like? What ones have you seen? What haven't you seen? And what ones are you excited to buy now that you've heard my review scores? Make sure to start that conversation in the comment section below. I hope all of you truly have a blessed day and I've always got something new and exciting coming out very soon.